Hi everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. We are as always your hosts Arna and Carlos and we are here with a little update on the quilting project. Uh, we started a quilting project with uh, some hexagons uh, that we wanted to update you on and a new quilting project that is gonna start happening very soon. Yes. So uh, two updates. Uh, Arne. And we've been in England, we've been to Hexham and we have walked Hadrian's Wall and in Hexham we did some trip shopping. shopping. Yeah. Look. We found all these bags with the uh, handkerchiefs. I don't know, I wonder who used this. No one. It looks like they're new. Yeah, they haven't been used, but they're so thin. Yeah, but look at this. This is all... Um, yeah. There's six of them in each each bag, have six, and there's embroidery on them. Mm. But these have like a lace, and there's a hole. I think your, your, this one also have yeah. holes. These have been folded in a yeah. very cute way. But so we're going to do more hexagons and use this, like we did on this one with the old tablecloth. Yep. So this is the first one we finished. And then we were thinking, this can make some nice hexagons. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do with this is that we have to have two layers of fabric because of the holes. So this one will be double. Mm. So let's see how we can place this one. Yeah. And we used the hexagons from Kate at the last homely house. Yeah, she made these for us. Very nice hexagons. So there's a, not so much seam allowance on this one, so we have to figure out where we can put it. So I think I use the red flower and then I use those two green leaves. And let's see, let's cut it out. Where's the scissor? There it is. So we try to make them look the same because then they will make a pattern. And of course, it starts to be windy. Yep. So. And for those wondering, we're cutting through the embroidery, but it's machine embroidery, and what we don't need anyway goes, it's folded down the other way, so it yeah. should be okay. We're not cutting the embroidery really, except no. the parts this that has we don't to go. need. Yeah, but the parts we need, we don't need, we don't cut them, obviously. And we see we're not so picky with the seam allowance because it will be. As long as you have enough to fall down, so you can sew it, it will disappear. It will be gone under the rest. So I can use the same fabric to make the background. No. Is that mine? Yeah. No, that's, your, that's yours. My what? If you cut one, you have to make the other one looking exactly the same. So oh, I thought okay. you were cutting my napkin. Well, this is yours. No, I have the one with the crochet flower. Yeah, but they're all yours. You bought all of them. So anyway. But if you cut it, it's yours. <laughs> okay, so I suppose that means don't cut. Leave my stuff alone. No, cut. I think no. Hmm? No, I don't think I dare now because of, you know. As soon as they come out looking more or less the same, it's fine. Let me see. I have to try to put it in the right place. So this flower should be down there. And that should be up there. And the leaves disappears like that. That's a nice motif. It is, yeah, it's quite nice. That's why I wanted to show you. Very what it could nice. look like if yeah. we um, if we cut this one. But if you do one, you have to do all of them. So you yeah, can make so them look exactly the same. So I have to move it around a few times to make it balanced. Mm. That looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, very nice. So now I have to make five more exactly the same and you see it's not so important how the how the seam allowance look i can cut away if it's too much somewhere and then i can sew these down and 
then Carlos, maybe you can tell everybody about your project yeah. because you have something going on. But before that, look. Oh, that looks good. That can be quite good. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let you do it because, as you said, they all have to be identical because you are very picky. This will right? take forever, but it will make a beautiful floral motif in, Absolutely, my, yes. in my quilt. So, so um, we've been redoing um, a bedroom in our house and um, we have this antique quilt in um, in our guest house, the bathhouse that we have shown in one episode recently. And uh, that is very old and you know, you can't really use it much. We put it on the bed when nobody's there, but if we have somebody spending the night, we take it out. But I thought we'd make a quilt uh, for another bed in the bedroom that we've just redone. Yeah. And um, yeah. You got some inspiration. Yeah. I went to Liberty because I love Liberty fabric. And um, I got quite a lot of these samples or, you know, these little rolls of fabric. Um, and they're all quite beautiful. Uh, this is very nice. This is really nice, actually. Mm. I could use some of those in my quilt. Yeah. This is uh, very nice as well. Uh, oh, I love this yellow one. Um, mm, and this beautiful. would, yeah, this one would match the, or, or would complement the walls in the room because the walls are teal. I think that's really very yeah. good. Yeah, but this is also nice. It's got a little bit, um, I like this golden kind of uh, color. Look, Yeah. this is very nice. Um, and then we've got like um, more little florals. I love the florals, I have to say. Um, yeah, and then you've got this one. This is also really nice, very summer kind mm. of color so um yeah i only bought this to inspire myself i don't know if that if i'll actually use any of these but at one point we will go back to liberty and buy um, what i need how many fabrics have you planned to use um in your quilt? i'm thinking of using three fabrics only yeah for my quilt and um it will be very stylish yeah i mean for example it could be that i mean this is just an example um Say so we'd use this this fabric here, um, and then we'd use combine it with, for example, this one here, so that we would combine these two, for example, or maybe go a little bit more uh, on this route here. This is also quite nice. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. we're we're not we're not a hundred percent sure. And then maybe the back would be would be this one. So. That on the back you'd have just the the one fabric and then on the other side you'd have the the quilt with yeah. the with the design and and when we went to england and we got the all this uh, handkerchief 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 yes. we went shopping with kate at the last homely house we did we, we were visiting her. her yeah and you got the planning book. yeah kate gave me this planning book uh which i've actually started to use it's very useful so thank you kate um and uh I have kind of done up my design, um, you know, more or less what I'm thinking. Um, and I'm thinking that uh, because of our knitting background, um, the eight leaf row, so the eight pointed star is a very important symbol in uh, Norwegian knitting. So I think I want to use that hmm. in the quilt as a quilt design. And I've kind of been doing a little bit of a, a doodle here, like a, a little sketch. And uh, this is what I've come up with um, it would be like this like a yeah, yeah. And so I, and I, I will ask you one question because I know you're good at sewing you made your own folk costume mm -hmm. but would you think about splitting this up so you can make it like in one seam without sewing corners or do you want to sew the corners or do you want to put it down and Put it like this i don't know so i mean hand. um this is my first sketch what i'm thinking is i want an eight eight pointed star and then i want um this here in the middle of it and then what you see here the these lines this is where i would hand sew it and then yeah. i'd also hand stitch all of this around here all of this would be hand stitched and then inside the square um, and then the next one would be the opposite yeah so the next one would have the yellow for example, it would have this fabric here, and um, and then this fabric would be would be in here. Actually, that is pretty. That is pretty nice, actually. 
Yeah. Very so nice. I'm thinking that it should be bigger as well. Yeah. I'm thinking it should be twice the size of what this is now. Double, double this. But there wasn't enough space here. So just have to figure and this out is my, the fabric. Uh, yeah, and this is my first, uh, my first initial sketch of what I'm thinking. But it would probably be double the size. And then we have to figure out how to cut it and how to, and how to sew it together. Yeah. But yeah, there's a lot of corners here. I can see that. But you can do corners. I can do corners. Unless you can split it in a different way so it's easier to sew. Yeah. Maybe you can do it like this, paper. I don't know. That could be cool. No, I want to do this with a sewing machine. Okay. Because then <laughs> after, yeah, no, because afterwards I have all the quilting to do by hand. I know. Yeah. And then I'm thinking that um, it goes in diagonal and then in the edges you'll have like halves. And then I'm thinking that the halves would only be in, in for example, this fabric. Yeah. So I'd only cool. do, yeah, and then do the quilting, you know, the vatting and then the, the quilting by hand. So yeah, this is as far as I've come uh, so far, uh, and we'll see what what happens. What happens? And I have to figure out. But I'm now, excited. I, I know. I need to figure out now. Moose, moose. How I'm gonna put these Freya. together? Freya. Should, should the flowers come in the middle, or should they be like on the outside, like this way? That's fun. It's fun. I have to make five more. Yeah. Let me see. And. I also got your old shirt, which is going to be Yeah, yeah. I mean, small, that shirt was all torn apart and uh, suddenly it ended up in the house. And I said, no, this shirt is not um, usable anymore. And no. now it's here in your... Uh, but this can be fun to play with also yeah. this, when you make those uh, lines yeah, yeah, yeah. to so meet. So you've got the gingham on the, yeah. on the outer or on the inner part of the flower. So the this seam. quilt will grow but it will grow very slow yeah that's very nice nice. because it takes time to find all the Look old at that. fabrics that's very pretty yeah very nice cool cool good yeah and then a lot of people ask how you take the paper out afterwards and it's very easy you just take it out take the cut the threads cut the threads it and take you it out. see on this one when this these sides are sewn together you just take this out mm. and then it comes out and we haven't sewn through the paper so you can probably also take it out like this but take it out yeah just take it out <laughs> <laughs> okay carlos yep we so can't, we can't film while i do all this so i think you should do some we will yeah so anyway we've got uh, lots of fabrics to um, to consider and unfortunately because liberty they just had a sale yeah a fabric sale and I missed it well actually I didn't miss it it's just I haven't decided on my fabrics yet and I don't want to um, I don't want to do it you know I don't want to rush no I still haven't been in the teal room the walls in the in the bedroom I haven't been in there um, with the fabrics I also want to go there and put these you know against the wall to see what see how it looks yes yeah, to see what works uh, and I'm not looking into something matchy matchy i want something that complements each other somehow yeah and uh yeah this is also i like the this is nice this big floral is actually very nice i, I like that one and it could be combined with yeah th this would be nice to look the bigger floral yeah. with a smaller so endless combinations and this is only this is only a tiny tiny selection of of all the fabrics that they do. Yeah. Um, they are wonderful. And did you know, Arne, when we were in Italy mm -hmm. uh, on our garden trip and went to Como, the factory where they make these fabrics is uh, not very far away you know, from I Como. know that. And I think I saw that in the interior magazine. Yeah. So that's a place we could go once. Yes, so uh, maybe maybe we will organize. No, not maybe. I know we will organize a garden tour um, for the future and maybe um, a stop at the Liberty um, manufacturer. Maybe they can, you know, can welcome you buy us. Can fabric there? Oh, that would be fun. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. It would be really nice to go and visit them and see what they do and maybe yeah. film that for our channel. So... Uh, you know, fingers crossed. If that's something you would find interesting, do put it down in the comments and we will consider it. 
Yes. Yeah. We have a good friend who uh, is really good at um, getting these things together. So who knows? Yeah. So Arne, I'm gonna let you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm I'm focused. Yeah. On this one, because this is kind of hard to find. Try to find the right place to make them look the same. Mm -hmm. But it's fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Where's my other one? Where's the other one? The other what? There it is. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna let you do the look. formalities. While See. The it can nice. go this way or it can go. Yeah, it will be just like these. Yeah, they, they can be on the outside like this. That's also nice. Okay, so that's it for this time. Yep. I love that one. That and is nice too, yeah. If you like our videos, put your thumbs up and be a subscriber. And remember, you can now also be a is it member. Yep. And you can get those emojis so you can comment, comment, make comments and put the emojis. Yeah, you can do that as well as uh, you'll get other uh, other perks as a member of our YouTube channel for a monthly fee. Uh, you will be able to support us as well as uh, or support the channel anyway, as well as get behind the scenes and um, other sorts of fun things like Q and A's and and the emojis that Arna mentioned. Yeah, as well. and if you keep your eyes peeled, you will probably see this one growing. Yeah, see, you have to come back later and show what we did mm -hmm. with the. What you call that? Lumen circular? Handkerchiefs. 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 Okay, see you next time. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Bye. We'll see you. Bye.